Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my Mercari sales. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. And I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and I'm going to show you what I've sold. So I have not sold a whole lot. The last time I shared a Mercari video was in, I believe, January. Now, I do have some good sales, and I'm going to share them with you. So there are some bolos in here. The problem is, is I currently have not been getting a lot on Mercari. What I am starting to do, I started this last month, is um, I am basically starting fresh. And if you watch this video starting over, what I'm going to do is start getting all my items into list perfectly when I originally list them. And then I'm going to cross post right when I list the item instead of putting the item on eBay. And then mm, when I feel like it cross posting a whole bunch at one time, I'm going to start being more productive and getting things done at the same time. So list into list perfectly with the new uh, listing assistant. Check this out right here, this video. And then check out what I'm doing to start over. And we're going to see if this brings an uptick in my Mercari sales. So list perfectly, AI, listing assistant, complete game changer. Check out that video and then starting over. And you're going to see what I'm going to do to hopefully liven up my Mercari, my Poshmark, and my eBay. So, uh, And we're also going to be getting rid of stale listings during this process not getting rid of them, but bringing them back to life. Let's hope. All right. So let's get started with the things that I sold on Mercari. If you watch these two videos down here and decide you want to try list perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies to get 30% off your first month. There is a link down below. Those videos, videos are also linked down below. So check those out. And this is going to be a process for me. So um, if you've already watched those videos, you know what I'm talking about. I know at least one person is doing the same thing as me. So pretty excited to see how things go for her. Uh, this first thing is a Thomas the Train Roundhouse Station. $55 is what I sold this for. This thing was listed, I can't even tell you how many years. A long, long time. So um, it sold the fastest on Mercari. So what you are going to see here is... These items were cross-posted and it these items sold faster on Mercari. I probably picked this up at a garage sale, probably paid $5 or less for it. Got it in a big bundle if I remember correctly, but this did take a long time to sell. The next item is this Vera Wang dress. What I have noticed with these dresses is I get more money for them on Mercari and Poshmark. This sold for $48 with free shipping on Mercari. Uh, this was a retail arbitrage buy where I picked a bunch of things up from David's Bridal when they were on sale and probably not one of my better buys. I bought hundreds and I'm slowly just weeding them out of my store. I am a list it and forget it type of gal. So list it and forget it. It sold $48. The next item is this Jelly Cat Bashful Bunny Rabbit Soft Dusty Rose. And this sold for $62 with free shipping. And I think this was a gift from Pinky's secondhand store. Um, she sent me a box of Jelly Cat. So sweet of her. I have an unboxing video on that. Jelly Cat is definitely an item to be on the lookout for. If you want to see some Jelly Cat that go for big money, type in Bolo Buddies Jelly Cat into the YouTube search. And oh my goodness, some of them go for lots of money. This next one are these Lane Bryant shorts, and they were listed a long time. Uh, typically, you know, any platform you can sell clothing on. I don't sell a ton of clothing on Mercari. One thing, when I'm restarting over, I'm going to get more clothing on to Mercari because I'm going to be listing some of my older items that have been listed a long time on eBay. And again, check out the starting over video. It'll make more sense. This one here is a Peter Rabbit uh, Bunny Beatrix Potter plush stuffed animal. I sold this for $16 and free shipping. So I do free shipping on Mercari. It just makes sense. And it e makes even more sense now that they took away the seller fee 
and the buyers have to pay a fee because when the buyer gets their invoice and they see the processing fee, they see the Mercari fee that used to be the seller's fee. They also see the shipping and the taxes. It can be a bit overwhelming because I buy on Mercari. And sometimes when I look at my invoice, I'm like, oh, that's just a little bit too much. So if you assume some of the, sh at least the shipping cost, that's going to make the buyer feel better and possibly buy from you. But I did free shipping before that. I ship my items from Pirate Ship. Mercari does offer a shipping service as well. Also, once again, if you guys decide that you want to try Mercari, if you're not already on the platform, you can use my referral link down below. You'll get $10 to shop when you use that and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So that link's down below. And I hope you guys are going to join me on the platform and maybe you will do the starting over thing as well. So if you decide to do it, let me let me know down in the comments and let's see some more bolos. This next one, it's a good one. The next item is this vintage Battlestar Galatia, I don't know, Daggett talking robot pet. This is from 1979. And I'm sorry, you can't really see the photo. Um, this guy, I brushed him out. I got him at a garage sale. I think I paid five bucks for him. I sold him for $95. Now here's what's great. This sold after they implemented the new fees for no seller fees. So that entire $95 went into my account as what I earned on this item, the entire $95. The next item is this Jelly Cat, and it is the Bashful Tan, tan Palomino Horse, eight inches, and it is just cute as can be. Not a very big one, sold for 18 free shipping. This is a forever, forever collectible hot dog. Let me get you his face here. There he is. He's all cheesing up. And um, I got this Oh, golly, this might have been a Goodwill Bins find. I'm going from memory here, which uh, we all know um, it's hard to remember where you get things, right? I think this was the Goodwill Bins, so probably a dollar or less. Sold it for $28 free shipping. This one also came from the Goodwill Bins, and this took a little while to sell, but it sold for $94 free shipping. And again, I got the entire $94. This is a Kimberly Durden 18-inch realistic baby doll from 2006. This was a little heavier, bins by weight, probably $5 for this. And if you go to my YouTube channel and type in Bolo Buddies Goodwill Bins, you can see me actually dig through the bins. This is an over the moon doll, just kind of like a Barbie style doll. I don't think it's made by Mattel. I'm not sure who it's made by, to be honest. And I sold this one for 15 free shipping here. Hold on, let's see. Well, will it let me look? It is made. Oh, it is Mattel. So she is by Mattel. Looks like 2014, maybe. So Mattel in the title probably would have been a good idea. The next one is this Amy Butler pillow. It is a circle shape and it says yes on one side and no on the other. This thing took forever to sell. I thought it was super cute. I got it at a garage sale. I want to say I paid about $5 for it. And I sold this for $53.25 free shipping. But again, no seller fees. These two stretch bracelets, I had them listed a whole time, a long time, long, long time. And I sold these for $23 free shipping. Probably, I don't know, paid a buck for them at a garage sale. This is a vintage Bandai Power Ranger Shark. Now, I didn't make a whole lot on this, guys. It was I sold it for $9.75. I got the entire $9.75. Probably got this in a mystery toy box at the Goodwill Bins or a thrift store or something in like a bulk buy. So probably had about 25, 50 cents in it. So I did pay the shipping, probably made three, four, maybe five bucks on it. Not a great profit. This one here are Pokemon, 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 gotta catch them all. Pikachu, Ash, choose your kid's birthday cards lot from 1998. I sold these for $26 worth free shipping and I picked these free, up free. Uh, this is a Scentsy Buddy, Jazzy the Jellyfish, Pink Aromatherapy Plush. And I sold this for $32 free shipping, and I got this at a garage sale. And if I remember correctly, I believe it was $2. And the last item is this Express Dress. And I have sold these on all three platforms, uh, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I think I'm about sold out of these, but I picked these up at a place called Discount Fashion Warehouse. And I want to say they were marked down to 90% off and they were like 10 bucks. So I think I paid a dollar for these. 
uh, what I would do is I would buy in bulk and then I would divide out the total and use um, the average. So my average cost was about $3 a piece for everything I would buy that day. So that is how I kind of worked with um, when I would buy clothing in bulk back in the day from a store. It was just easier to take my receipt, divide the number of items by the total cost, and then keep track that way. All right, you guys, check out the starting over. Check out the assi uh, listing assistant through List Perfectly. These two things, oh my goodness, you guys got to check it out. Super excited about it. Again, List Perfectly videos are attached below. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, with the List Perfectly link down below and get 30% off your first month. You can also use that code to upgrade to a plan that you have never been on. So check it out. And I hope to see you guys over at a whatnot show. We're having a good time over there. We're drinking our coffee and hanging out. And shout out to Cat Feeling Thrifty. She sent me this cute little owl necklace. I love it. It's so dainty, um, but it does have little owls on it. So uh, be sure to follow Cat Feeling Thrifty also on whatnot. And Lucky Day Living seems so vintage. Flipping Friends. Those are my moderators. Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, if she ever comes back to whatnot, I don't know what she's doing. She's been over there hanging out, but uh, definitely check those girls out. But check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle on uh, YouTube also because she has awesome reseller content. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the starting over video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of either this video or that video. You think it's a good idea? It's a big, big goal. I don't really set goals. We'll just say it's a big, big plan that I'm going to be implementing over time. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.